For this project is a computer with internet access, laptop or desktop, an SD card any size, some sites will say only 2.0 gig but you can use bigger, a Wii version 4.3 for United States, E would be Europe, with internet access. I've broken this down into four simple steps. Step 1, install homebrew channel on your Wii. Step 2, install your homebrew browser on, on the Wii. Step 3, install the NES and SNES emulators from the Homebrew browser. Step 4, and final step, download the game ROM files onto your SD card from the internet. Okay, the reason I did this video was because mainly there wasn't a good video on the internet which showed, showed all the four steps that I outlined before. It was in bits and pieces and uh, very tough to understand. Uh, also, I wanted uh, people who weren't uh, as astute as most people when it comes, like myself, when it comes to downloading video games. Um, I mean, kids probably can do this in 10 minutes. Um, but uh, to be able to have these games available to them and maybe relive some of the days when we were kids and we used to play these video games like RBI and, and Tech Mobile and such. Um, so the first thing you need to do when we download this letterbox software, this hack me software, um, is to get our MAC address from the Wii. Um, so you go to Wii options, Wii settings, scroll over to the right, internet and console information and write this address down right here um, or leave this open and then uh, we're going to go to our laptop now or desktop. Okay, in order to get the homebrew channel onto your Wii, we need to download the Letterbomb Hack Me software. So the first thing you need to do is open up a browser and type in Letterbomb. Enter the web address or to click the web address there, which is actually please.hackme.com. And then this is where we needed that MAC address. You're going to make sure the 4.3U is clicked. You're going to put in your MAC address. You're going to make sure this is checked the bundle the hack, hack me installer for me. Type these words in. If you can't read them, refresh, get a new one here. Sometimes they're hard to read. Then you're going to hit cut the red wire. And we're going to save this. Now mine saves as a zip. It's going to save as a zip. Um, I use WinRAR um, to zip these files. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And it's about two point one eight megabytes just let it uh, save here and then once it's saved we're gonna move it to our SD card move the files that we need to our SD card and then take the SD card and put it into our Wii and uh, basically extract it and upload it so we can get the homebrew channel okay Close that, close that. Uh, you'll see right here is where the letterbomb zip file came. I'm going to extract to a letterbomb folder. Okay, see it came open right here. And the files you're going to need is the private and the boot elf. You really don't need these other files, um, which you technically can delete which I'm going to do to clean it up. And what you're going to do is copy 
these I'm going to use, um, well, I'll just do it right here. So you're going to copy these two files, the folder, private folder, and the boot elf. We're going to copy them onto our SD card, which mine is right here. Now, before you uh, copy them or paste them, you should format your SD card. Make sure this says FAT32 um, and basically just start the process. It'll erase everything from your SD card, but that's okay. Um, it's, well, unless you have pictures or something, you should start with a fresh SD card. And then we're going to paste these files into the SD card. So there they are. And now we're going to go to the Wii with our SD card. Okay, we're back at the Wii, ready to install the Homebrew channel. Um, you put the SD card into the Wii, you put it in the front, there's a door in the front if you don't know where it goes, uh, the SD card goes in there. And what you're going to do is you're going to go to your message Wii board and you're going to look for the file. Now, some people, sometimes you have to wait for it to load up, some people say you have to go to the day before, sometimes it's there, um, but just scroll around there, you saw mine popped up once I went back and forward. There's the letter bomb right there. You're going to click this and you're going to follow the instructions to download it. Um, I already have it on my Wii so I'm not going to show you the download and it takes a little bit and I only have 15 minutes to get through this, these four steps. So what I'm going to show you is once you download it, it's going to look like this coming up here in a second. Okay, it's going to look like this right here, Homebrew Channel, and when you hit start, you're not going to have anything. But what we're going to do is we're going to get the browser, the Homebrew Browser next, which will come up here, and then we're going to install the emulators. So now we go back to the computer with our SD card to install the Homebrew Browser. One thing I wanted to mention was there's a 26-minute video on uh, downloading the homebrew channel which I'm gonna put at the bottom uh, on YouTube I'll, I'll tell you what the name of it is and uh, it goes over the whole step-by-step -step of, of uploading it on um, and it also talks about the boot me uh, application in there um, that you can download as well um, and the guy goes over it step-by-step -step. you don't need to boot me but um, but what happens is uh, I guess it saves your backup files or, or something like that um, but uh, if you have trouble, visit that video and it will walk you through step by step. The kid's kind of dorky on there um, when he talks, but he knows what he's talking about. Okay, step two, we're going to download the uh, Homebrew browser and install it into the Wii onto the Homebrew channel. That Homebrew browser allows us to download the NES and SNES emulators. So other way to get the emulators but the easiest way is through the homebrew browser so how we're going to do that is we're going to go to webrew.org and we're going to scroll down here and we're going to go to the homebrew browser link right here click on that and then we're going to download it Homebrew browser download. And we're going to do the same concept as the letter bomb. We're going to save it to our desktop. Saves in a zip through WinRAR. Takes a little, a little bit here. It's about two megs again. And what we're going to do is we're going to extract and copy the files um, into our onto our SD card. It's very important how we name the folders and how we route this, so the Homebrew channel can read it, uh, find, the, uh, find it through the directory. Okay, close that. We can close out here. We're going to extract. We're going to extract here. We're not going to extract with a different name. It's important that this name, um, don't pay attention to that. I already had some of the files there. Um, we don't need the 
the homebrew guide here. We can delete that. Um, and here's here's our folder right here, homebrew browser. Like I said, it has to be named exactly like this. Okay. So now we're gonna I'm gonna use Windows Explorer and copy the folder. I'm actually gonna copy the folder into my SD card. So here's the folder here. And I'm just gonna move it onto the SD card. Okay. You technically should clean up your uh, SD card, just reformat it again so there's nothing on it. Now, here's the key part here. You have to add a folder named apps right in the first route, uh, the first directory from the SD card and move this homebrew, route, homebrew browser folder into your apps. If you don't do this, you will not, the load in will not come up on the uh, homebrew channel. Okay, now we, that, we did that. We got our apps folder first, then the homebrew browser, and then the files in it. We're done with this, and we take the SD card back to the Wii. Okay, we're back to install the homebrew browser on the homebrew channel. Now when you open it, and you hit start, you should have a little option here that flies in from the right. It says homebrew browser. Click on it, load it. It's going to take a little while. You're going to go through all this stuff. It's going to initialize and follow the steps. And then I'm going to show you how to do the emulator or down, how to install the emulators. Okay, as you run through that um, upload, you may run into an error and it say code dump. Um, the clean screen flashes. You can hit the reset button and then uh, run through it again. But when it's done, you should get you should get uh, this screen right here. And now we're already on to step three.